Welcome to Hear the Web, your one-stop podcast for the latest and greatest news from around the globe. Imagine this Ukrainian pilots in the cockpit of an F-16 within just three months of training. You heard it. Isn't it exciting? Indeed, Tom. And it's not just a wild claim. It comes straight from Lieutenant General Michael Lowe, the director of the U.S. Air National Guard. He's hopeful that by the turn of the year, we'll see the skies speckled with Ukrainian F-16S. But Lily... Aren't F-16S complex high-tech fighting machines? I can barely handle the complexity of my smartphone. That's a fair point, Tom. But these are seasoned Ukrainian pilots we are talking about. Their training will be taking place at Morris Air National Guard Base in Tucson, Arizona, as soon as this October. So with the proficiency of these pilots and their prior experience, they will be airborne in no time. By the sounds of it, it seems like Ukraine's fighter pilots are getting a golden ticket, don't you think, Lily? Yes, Tom. It's almost as if they've won a Willy Wonka-esque lottery of sorts, especially because Tucson is likely to shift some of its other international pilot training commitments to prioritize Ukraine. Well, that certainly sounds like Ukraine is front and center. So, Lily, is it safe to assume these pilots will start flying combat missions as soon as their U.S. training is complete? Not so fast, Tom. Despite the intensive and rapid U.S. training, the Ukrainian pilots will need to return to Europe for additional NATO training, which will further refine their flight and maintenance skills. Interestingly, the timeline for this additional training remains unknown. I see. And while we're dissecting the timeline, let's remember that General David Alvin has estimated an average time frame of six to nine months for the F-16 training itself. And that's an important point to remember. Here's another question for our listeners. Do you know that Ukraine's leaders have been requesting fighter jets from the West since the war began? That's right, Lily. And interestingly, Other weapon systems instead of jets were initially provided due to costs, potential provocation of Russia, maintenance difficulty, and the presence of Russian air defense systems. But now, Tom, the F-16's ability to suppress enemy air defenses and conduct low-altitude attacks could be a game-changer for Ukraine in their trench warfare. Thus, this training will not just be about flying, but also about strategy and tactics. Isn't that fascinating? Absolutely, Lily. And further testament to this is the fact that Ukraine is seeking up to 50 F-16 fighter jets, aligning with President Volodymyr Zelensky's August announcement of Kyiv, set to receive 42 of these jets. It seems Ukraine is gearing up for a fighting chance in the air. It indeed is, Tom. And that's all the information we have on this fascinating subject today. Join us next time as we dive into more intriguing global affairs. You've been listening to Hear the Web where we bring the world to your ears. We're your hosts, Tom and Lily, signing off until next time. Stay safe and stay curious, everyone.